Hey guys, it's Anne Gretel. Yeah, find me at I'm underscore Gretel. That's my YouTube channel. Welcome back again, my people, my viewers. Hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. Yeah, I'm also doing well and I'm all right. So today I was just thinking to take you through this village. It's about 11 a.m. East African time. And as you all know, I come from you. I come to you from the coastal parts of Kenya. Yeah, in the most interior village. Yeah, here in Kuala County. So today I want to show you where we get water. Yeah. If you have been going through my videos, yeah, so this place uh, is always experiencing dry times. Yeah, they, this place always experience severe droughts. Yeah, so when it rains, when actually the rains come, the water usually go and settle in one place like ponds, I can just say like ponds, yeah, so when they settle there, there is where people get water, and the water, they use the water to drink, to cook, to wash, and do with it everything, even the animals, yeah, find water from there, so this place is usually experiencing severe droughts, yeah, there is always severe droughts, so when actually the rains come, the waters go and settle there. So I want to take you to the places where we go and fetch water. Yeah. I want to take you so that you can have a view of where people from this village go and get water. So come, in, well, come on with me, guys. Hope you will enjoy. Yeah. Just stay tuning. And if you have not subscribed to this new channel please subscribe like my videos and share thank you guys so actually i'm from home yeah and i'm taking this, this path as i take you to where we get the water from this is the most interior villages here in Kuala County. Yeah, it is usually experiencing very drought times. Yeah. There is always severe drought. And the drought always causes the animals, the wild animals, to come from their forests. Yeah. And make their way into this land where they also come in search of water and pasture. Yeah, so during the drought times, we experience a lot of elephants coming to this area, destroying things, killing people. Yeah, as people are striving to get water and the elephants also are striving to get water together with other wild animals. So it's like a stiff competition between animals and human beings and I think this a day I told you people that this place was once for wild animals yeah this place was once for wild animals and as you can see all the places is surrounded by bush people are not men in this village so this place was once for wild animals then human beings made their way to come and settle over here so when they came the wild animals had to go to other places. But although they went to other places, they can still remember this place and they make their way during drought season. Hope you guys are enjoying. So this is how we are going about the road. So this is how the places looks like. And as it rained, sometimes there is stagnant water. Water stagnates in the road. And 
It is usually shocking that people from this village usually use this water. They use this water to cook, to drink, and it's not a shocking thing to see someone coming with a cup and taking it and drinking it just as it is. Yeah, it's because they have no otherwise, so you can't be shocked. And they are used to this kind of life. But this water is really dangerous. Yeah, for us, we usually take the waters. We take some filters we put inside the waters so that the water become clear. After the waters become clear, we then filter it again to remove the dust particles and the other other and the other chaffs that are remaining after which we use the water but before we drink we also boil but other villagers don't know of such things yeah for them they just come take the water directly and drink yeah and i guess this brings a lot of diseases yeah cholera typhoid yeah So someone can come and get this water over here and drink. Yeah, and they are used to it because <laughs> they were raised in this place. But for us, we were not raised in this place. Actually, we were born in town. Yeah, and we had we had just known about life in urban. And we never knew we could come and settle in such a place. Yeah. But it happened like <laughs> we got ourselves coming to stay over here. And we just had to accept the situation and go by how it goes. Actually... We are still walking. I say I'm taking you to where people fetch the water. Yeah, for us in this village, we don't have like dams, taps. Yeah, yeah, and people also don't. Uh, people really don't have houses made of iron sheet, so they can't access rainwater. Yeah, they have houses made of grass, like they are huts. So they are used to this kind of living, you know. Yeah, but as for us, we have a house made of iron sheet, so sometimes we harvest rainwater when it's raining. Yeah. And when it rains heavily, we harvest a lot of rainwater that will push us for a little bit long before the next rain comes again. So here we don't have taps. We don't have ponds. We don't have boreholes. We don't have wells. Yeah. People just dig a particular place. Yeah, like wet areas. So after they have dug there, when the rains come, the waters come and settle over that place. Yeah, then they will go now and fetch water from there. Someone who can imagine this kind of life. There's no taps, wells, there's nothing at all, yeah. You just have to depend on the, the stagnant water from rain. Yeah, and in case the drought season comes, the water usually dries up, and people have to walk very, very long distances in search of water. So this village is really experiencing a lot of challenges, water being one of them. Yeah. 
but <laughs> I think they are used to it. So these are the kind of houses that people are having over here in this village. Hope you're enjoying guys. Just remember to subscribe to this new channel. Comment share and like it's a distance but it's not that far it's a 30 minutes walk so still walking yeah and I'm here with my Younger sister, we are walking together, heading to where we fetch water. Someone has just planted maize here beside the road. This, so these are the kind of houses that people are building over here in this village. But then this person migrated and went to someone eh, somewhere else because of the drought yeah so they left the house so these houses over here the owners went away due to the drought they had to flee to other places you can see there's a lot there are a lot of houses over here so all these houses the owners went and left them it's because of the drought season that had come in this village. So even this one was someone's house. Yeah. But then they migrated and left their houses due to the drought. There are a lot of people flee to other places due to the drought season. We are about to reach us. But at least nowadays we experience rain. So these Elino rains have helped us. But we used to go for the water daily. Like three times a day, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's really difficult. Waking up in the morning at six, carrying a 20 liter jerry can in your head, going to fetch the water.
so we are still walking guys we are still going that is a motorcycle passing passing by Hope you guys are enjoying seeing this most interior village. Here in Kwale County, the coastal parts of Kenya. So this is our main road and as you can see it is not tarmac, it's just a modern road but it's the main road. So this is our main road and this village has got many tribes, you can see the, Ma the Maasai, they are from there. They are from the center. There they are. Baria Subui. Salama. So I was just greeting them. Here in East Africa. We greet people in the morning saying Habari ya Asubui to mean how have they woken up today. Yeah. So that is Swahili language. If you're enjoying guys just leave your comments in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to this new channel so we have almost reached We have almost reached. So we have almost reached. And it's really sunny. It's sunny hot. Yeah. So today it hasn't rained. So we are experiencing sunny and sunny, sunny weather. And we are really sweating because it's really hot. Yeah, but we have finally reached where we get water from. So you can see the places where we get water are surrounded by thick, dense, thorny trees so that nothing can access. Yeah. So they plant the thorny trees so that the wild animals may not be able to enter. So they plant the cactus like trees. 
so that the wild animals cannot access over there. As you can see, so this place is surrounded by a variety of thorny trees so that no wild animal can access. But the wild animals still <laughs> come. They come at night, yeah, and do whatever they want with the waters. So here we are going. We have just reached. We are going to the entrance. So we are finally reached. We are just going to the entrance. We are just going to the entrance. So you can see how this place is surrounded by a lot of trees. Yeah, so they have securely, they have securely surrounded the water place. So yeah. here is the entrance. Yeah, so this is the entrance. So here is the entrance. So they have put the entrance like this so that some animals may get difficulties during passing. So you can see all these maram. Yeah. This maram was from there where they had dug so that the water could enter that place. Oh, so the water is full. It's like a small lake or like an ocean. You can say something of that sort. So look, all these are the maram that was dug from this place. Oh, guys, see, so this is where people fetch water. Yeah. So the Lino Rains did a very big job. Just see over there. Till to the end. So here is where people fetch the waters from. Yeah. And the waters are like brownish red. But orange. people don't care. Yeah, the water is like orange in color. But so this is the water that people use to drink to cook, to wash their clothes. The, only, the, the animals, the domestic animals also get the water from here. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. yeah. So here is where we fetch water. <laughs> Somewhere, I, I, I guess you, are, you might be surprised that, ah, this, is, this water is used. Yeah. In this village, we use this water in drinking, cooking, and doing whatever, doing all the, yeah, all the stuff. So this is the water that we use. And it is orange in color. So the El Nino rains have done a very big job. It was, it was not full like this. I remember the last time we came here, mm -hmm. the waters were nearly finishing, yes? Yeah. yeah. The waters were nearly finishing. And I guess the fish, some fish might be here. <laughs> Ooh, so this is the water that people use in this village. Yeah, here is where they fetch water. Yeah. So it's like a pond. We can say it's like a pond because they dig so that when the rainy season comes, the water comes and settles over here. And once the waters have settled over here, like this, so it will take like six more months coming so people will not suffer from water 
as in people won't get troubles in getting water to use at home. Hey, I'm really astonished because the last time I was here, the water was almost finishing. So, guys, hope you are enjoying to see this. Yeah, for me, it's not a wonder because here is where I come to fetch water and I'm used to this. Yeah, so you can see over here, they, all, they always lit some fire. You can see these are pieces of charcoal. Yeah, and it's like there was fire here. Yeah, so they always lit fire over here at night so that when the wild animals come, they won't make their way inside here. They fear fire. <laughs> so when the ele elephants come and see there's fire lighting, they go away. So these are pieces, or this is a charcoal. And this is a firewood over here. Yeah, so they do this so that when the wild animals come, when they see there is fire lighting, they may not access this place. So this is how these villagers survive. This is how we survive over here. But I'm really, really astonished because when the last time we were here, the water was almost finishing. And since the El Nino rents began, we never came to fetch water over here because we harvested rainwater. But when the rainwater come to completion, we will have to come back here again with jerry cans. Yes? Yeah. yeah. So guys, hope you are enjoying. Hope you are enjoying to see how we are surviving in this village, the most interior village here in Kuala County, the coastal parts of Kenya. Yeah, just remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am underscore Gratel. Like my videos and share. Yeah. So that you may be able to know whenever I keep on uploading more videos. Yeah, so let me just show you how this place looks like. Let me walk through this place. But as I have told you, there is water everywhere. So, all of that is water. It's like a small ocean. This is more of a pond. <laughs> yes? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, hope you've just enjoyed watching with me how we are surviving in this village where we get the water from. Yeah, and I've showed you the water, the orange like water. This is the water that we use to do the chores, washing, cooking, drinking. Yeah. And that's how we survive over in this village. Just remember to click on the subscription button, like my videos, share. Don't forget to leave your comments on the comment section. And we'll meet again in another video. So bye-bye for now. Till another time. Thank you guys for watching.